Hey guys, Blazin here. Welcome to my analysis on the threat sensor. The threat sensor is a piece of UNSC equipment. When deployed, the threat sensor emits a periodic pulse in its surrounding area and highlights enemies on the user's HUD. On December 2559, Spartan Hudson Griffin had a threat sensor on him as part of his kit. By May 28, 2560, Master Chief found Griffin's removed armor in the tower and took his threat sensor for himself. This armor belonged to a Spartan named Hudson Griffin. Sensor logs suggest he was alive when the armor was removed. Forcibly. It's a long shot, but he might still be alive. While facing off against Chacklock in order to rescue the imprisoned and tortured Griffin, the weapon suggested that Master Chief should use Griffin's threat sensor to combat the Elite's active camouflage. It is where you will give up your secrets! While Master Chief was able to defeat Chacklock, unfortunately, Griffin was already too close to death due to his severe wounds from being tortured for too long. That's good. Good. The others, the Spartans. Did you? I'll find them. Even after Griffin's death, Master Chief continued to use his threat sensor throughout the rest of the Battle of Zeta Halo. The threat sensor fires from a simple handheld launching device. All you do is squeeze and the threat sensor will fire. The threat sensor can hold up to four charges and the duration lasts for about seven seconds. The threat sensor pulses three times before expiring. Technically the duration lasts for six seconds because that last second the threat sensor is active, the device is not actually pulsing, so it's just sitting there doing nothing. And the recharge time is about five seconds. The threat sensor is also capable of sticking onto other players and vehicles. And of course, the main reason to use the threat sensor is to see enemy players and vehicles through the environment. Another thing the threat sensor can do is locate enemy players who are in active camouflage. One last thing I want to mention is that if you see a threat sensor being used against you, the threat sensor can be destroyed by simply dealing damage to the device itself. Alright, and that's a threat sensor. It's nothing special really, and I really don't have much of a problem with it. I don't like that it can stick to other players and vehicles, I was always against that, but I understand it's more fun. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed, let me know your thoughts on the threat sensor, and maybe hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss any Halo sandbox items I cover, and until next time, peace.